Hello, today is uh, the 4th day of April, 2013, and it is that of a Thursday. In this video, using Netdania, we're going to uh, take a look at the uh, the charts, of course. The price action is now in the high 26s. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about supply and demand, but not much, because that's just uh, talking about a video I'll be doing probably over the weekend. And I wrote a song earlier. I was possibly considered uh, singing it on here, but I'm not. Instead, I'm just going to say the lyrics because I suck at singing. And, well, the copyrights by taking the music and, yeah, all that kind of jazz. So that's what I'm going to do within this video. We're looking at the one-minute time frame for silver. We'll expand it out a little bit. We have volume on the bottom, and it has been a big. So let's uh, take a look at the 10-minute time frame. So over the last uh, day or so, it has been sideways in a range up to 27 on the lower end, mainly at about uh, 26 and two-thirds, we'll say. On the 30-minute time frame, this is where we see the decline. There's uh, some volume here and a little bit of volume again today. One hour, two hour coming up, uh, four hour. And we'll move this onto the daily chart. We can see here that uh, these moves are coming within the same volume. Now, the volume within the CME group is a different, obviously. I, uh, I've, I looked on the internet, and I found a page where it stated, okay, this is an old one too, by the way. This is going back to pre, well pre-$20 silver. And uh, it was saying, oh, the volume was just way off, and uh, the person sent an email, and then they said, well, it was, it was wrong, and then it was corrected within the technical staff. And then there was an email address, so I decided to email them. But uh, they said they get back to me and they haven't. So I, I'm, I'm really not too sure exactly about it, but we're seeing this volume. And the one thing that I was mentioning too is within these washout cycles, it's not uncommon to have the uh, breakdowns come into play and uh, come within uh, heavy volume within that move. And, okay, so weekly volume again. Last week was a record-breaking week. Uh, it was a four-day week as well, but uh, on the fourth day, we've already broken it and we're going to be obviously higher with uh, tomorrow as well so the overall situation that ranges from this 26 up to 36 uh, so therefore when you're playing range-bound markets you buy low and you sell high and it works every single time until the last so that's just a point out here you buy and it works you sell here at uh, 35 and short and it works and you buy and cover at this point and it works you sell and you short and it works, you cover and it works, you buy, you don't know if that one's going to work yet. That's the way you play range-bound markets. When you're looking for the retracement, what you're waiting for is that uh, move down below here. And again, later on, I'm going to explain that, but not right now. Okay, so this weekend, I'm going to, most, most likely this weekend, I haven't recorded it yet, I'm going to do a video about supply and demand. Really teach it as I would if I was teaching people in grade 7 or 8, or people in grade 12, or people in high school or college or university as well. It's a basic, but uh, calling it a spade a spade kind of a video, and just going through the basics of it, but what's important within it and easy to understand. So I'm going to do that. If you like it, please, uh, when, you, when the video comes up, commenting and thumbing up the video, is appreciated because I don't know how it's going to work on the search, but what I want to do is hope that I get a decent amount of people watching the video via searching for supply and demand or something within that level or related to other supply and demand videos. And I'm going to focus in on two different things, the supply and demand within precious metals, silver and gold, as well as supply and demand on currency, and probably a way you're not going to expect. And I, I, I plan for it to be a really good video. So that's coming up. I'm hoping Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but uh, it'll be soon. That's that, that. Okay, I wrote a song, and I was going to get the music in the background, do a video log, and actually start singing it, but my singing voice sucks. And again, if I were to put the music in the background, you never know what kind of copyright issues will come into play. So just saying the, the lyrics within it, well, it would uh, work something like, Fiat money. Why four? Why four? I can't take much more. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
One, there's nothing wrong with gold. Two, there's nothing wrong with gold. Three, there's nothing wrong with gold. Four, there's nothing wrong with gold. One, something's got to give. Two, something's got to give. Three, something's got to give. Let the bankers hit the floor. Let the bankers hit the floor. Let the bankers hit the... Let the bankers hit the floor. Let the bankers hit the floor. Let the bankers hit the... Bank bailouts again. Again. This is the end. And now that's about all I'm going to do. Uh, if you're unsure about the song, you can just uh, search uh, Drowning Pool Bodies and you will find that song. I'm sure most of you figured that part out if you want to, uh, if you're good at singing and you want to have some fun with it, there's an amazing instrumental on YouTube. And uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, take care.